Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about custom and visual tooltip. So whenever we create the report, we wanted to give more information to the consumers. And there are a couple of different ways. You can create a drill through page uh, and provide more information via that. So I already have created a video on how to create the drill through page. If you did not watch yet, you can go ahead and watch that. I will give the link in description. Uh, there is another way to give more information is a tooltip. Uh, you can create a custom tooltip where you can add more information to your tooltip section of the visual as you can see in this picture and you also can create the visual of tooltip itself which can provide you a visual information about that category from that visual so without a delay i'm going to open up power bi and let's get started so i have my one visual on my report and i have a couple of tables in my uh, data model so that we are going to use that to um, for this video so I'm going to click on this build visual pane and when I select my visual current visual then you can see here when I scroll it down I already selected X and Y and that's why we have this visual when I scroll it down I have this tooltip section and I can add some more field here. So for example, if I wanted to give more information about cost, then I can select it. And now when I hover over on my um, visual, I can see cost data as well along with my sales. So that is the custom visual or the custom tooltip. And if we wanted to uh, give a more information via visual, then we need to create another page. So I'm going to click on this next page and we need to make this page for this um, visual tooltip. So while selected a page, when I select to, to this format, then format pane is open and I need to expand this page information. And in this page type, we need to select the tooltip. So that is the canvas we are given to create our visual. Uh, let's go to the canvas setting. And when I uh, click on this type uh, drop down, I have a couple of other options. So you can select those to uh, make your canvas bigger or uh, a custom as well so in this case I'm going to select on custom and I wanted to have my tooltip uh, in rectangle shape so I can fit my tooltip uh, with more data so I'm going to create it by 240 in a height and 700 px in a in a width and that's what I want now let's add some uh, visual here so I'm going to select a ribbon chart and I'm going to add on X axis uh, this time tree, uh, my um, time hierarchy and year and quarter from there. And then on the Y axis, I need to select the sales data. okay and now we have our visual let's quickly format it so my title I want that in a center so that I'm okay with other formatting uh, then I'm on X axis I don't want my title my Y axis as well I do not want my title because we already know from our actual title and the value should be a little bit bigger and in this color and 
let's go to the x-axis values should be little bit bigger okay oh yeah here it's two times and that's why so just remove that okay so now it looks better and now I'm going to expand it so we can see the quarter as well and that is okay for now or if we wanted to change the color then you can go ahead and change the color here for example this so you can have that and now i'm gonna to add this new card so this and let's put it on the right hand side and this way and let's quickly add some data here so i'm going to add my profit profit then i'm going to add a profit percentage then i'm going to add a cost as well so the total cost okay and let's quickly change the layout so in center we we have three so it's in grid and we wanted to have a three rows because we have three cards and one column so one okay and the call out values for all series and we want our uh, profit data in billions so our display unit should be billions and the decimal place is one and then uh, my cost data as well i want it in a billions so when we use our tooltip it doesn't mess up and my decimal places as well one and our profit that is fine that should be in this um, percentage also for all series we wanted to Put it our labels in the center so alignment should be right and our the name itself I want it in a in bottom so let's see so above value the position should be below value okay and the color uh, it should be the matching color so this and let's see the actual font color as well we can put it in a in this color maybe in a bold okay so that looks let's maybe increase the size so everything can fit looks okay so now we need to go back to the overview page and when we hover over we still have this old custom tooltip so you need to select the visual itself and on the format pane go to the properties and go to the tooltip expand it and this page you need to select as a page one now the page name also should be the meaningful so I'm gonna to put it as a tooltip page or tooltip one so we can have the right name so when I go back to the overview page select my uh, visual and when I go to the properties and tooltip now the page name is tooltip one and now you can uh, collapse all this so we can clearly see our tooltip now when i hover over i have this tooltip and you can see that how beautiful it is giving more information and it looks good as well so when i change my category my tooltip changed the data as well so guys this is all about a custom tooltip and visual tooltip uh, you can uh, you can do the formatting uh, the way you want on the tooltip page you can also hide this page now so your 
um, your consumer cannot see that page same as the drill through and they can only see this beautiful uh, tooltip okay um, if you like the content of the video guys then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and also let me know if you are already using it then how your consumer likes it or doesn't like it thanks for watching